हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ बीइंग एसीसीए दिस इज तुषिता गुप्ता एसीसीए एफिलिएट एंड यू नो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द मार्च 24 रिजल्ट्स सो द रिजल्ट्स आर फाइनली आउट फॉर योर मार्च 2024 अटेम्प्ट माय हार्टीएस्ट कांग्रेचुलेशंस फ्रॉम द एंटायर टीम ऑफ बीइंग एसीसीए टू ऑल ऑफ दोस हु हैव क्लियर्ड योर एग्जाम कांग्रेचुलेशंस यू डिड इट नाउ यू शुड मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन सेलिब्रेट अ लिटिल बिट बट आल्सो डू नॉट मेक मेक श्योर दैट द सक्सेस डज नॉट गेट टू योर हेड एंड यू आर कांस्टेंटली प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर योर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम आल्सो uh and for you know now coming to the people who i am making this video mainly for so this is for the people who unfortunately could not make it this time first of all uh you know it is completely okay understand that that it is totally all right to not be able to clear an exam in the very first attempt uh you know um so either you pass your exam or you learn so there is oh, there's only two possibilities so you know perhaps if you have not made it this time maybe there were some gaps in your preparation something which uh, you know was uh, left in between which was not completed which led to such a result so this is the time that you get up and identify what your mistakes were first of all take some time to absorb what has happened it's okay it's completely normal to not be able to clear an exam in the very first go absorb this fact take some take some time and then the next thing should be to do an analysis of where you have went wrong so you will have the my exam performance mep available on your my acca so the mep which is the my exam performance gives you an analysis section wise syllabus area wise analysis of your performance so uh, in which sections have you done well what was your time management like so it it is a very detailed feedback which acca gives you so make sure you utilize this resource and get to know more about your mistakes uh, you know if at all something is there which you are not understanding that how come this was a mistake what was i supposed to do make Make sure that you are reaching out to the right people. Make sure you reach out to your mentors, your tutors, anyone. And if at all you do not have anyone, being ACC is always there for you. So you can always DM us, and we will be happy to help you. Uh, this is one thing. Uh, now, what do you do if you have passed your exam? Now, if you have passed your exam, definitely congratulations. Go ahead and prepare for your next exam. Do the study. Do the practice. and then do the revision finally towards the nearing of the exams so this is what the approach should look like for the people who have passed now talking about those who could not clear so if you could not clear there are two possibilities either your score is somewhere between 45 to 49 or your score stands below 45 so 44 and uh, you know below that basically what we would suggest you is that if this is your score this is the range of your score then you should go for this exam reset this exam in the month of june and along with that if you had already started the preparation of your next exam then give it along with this so over here also you have two possibilities two possibilities are you have started study for next exam or you have not started the studies for the next exam so if at all you have not started just reset the one which you sat in the month of march otherwise if you have already started studying and you have covered substantial portions you are now towards the practice part syllabus is more or less done you are you know familiar with the syllabus and you are more or less towards the completion on the verge of completion of syllabus then along with that paper the, uh, appear for that paper which you have started studying for plus reset the one which you have appeared for in march why am i asking you to reset it right in march uh, right in the month of june is because you would probably still remember a lot of concepts it's just that you will have to brush them up again and practice otherwise if you do not sit for them in the month of june you'll probably give go for them in september and then you'll have to begin from scratch so this is the strategy that we suggest for the people who have their score lying between 45 and 
49 now if your score is below 45 again there are two scenarios you have started studying for your next one or you have not started so if you have not started then definitely do not pick up the uh, the next exam just reset for the one uh, which you have appeared in the month of june make sure you are analyzing your mistakes getting to know where all you went wrong what were the loopholes and you address all of that and reset for that exam in the month of june now if you have started the preparation already for the next exam and the exam in which you appeared in the month of march you scored below 45 this means that there is some knowledge gap also if your score is somewhere between 45 to 49 this just means that probably some more practice was needed but if your score is below 45 that means that you need more conceptual clarity somewhere along the lines the concepts that you have are not strong are not clear enough to you so that is why that is your score so if at all you have started with the next exam i would recommend that until and unless you are 95 percent done with the next one do not go for the next one just reset the exam which you have appeared in the month of march and you have not cleared that otherwise if you are done 95 percent more than 95 percent you are done with the next exam only then club them together otherwise just go for the reset one so you know being able to do 95 percent at this time when there is so much time left for the june exam is uh, quite you know rare not a lot of you would have done that so my advice would be that you only reset the one which you have not been able to clear in the month of march and you give your exam in the june attempt so i hope that this is something which helped you also we are doing a reset call uh you know this is a one-on-one -on -one video call where we will analyze your my exam performance we'll ask you some questions and we'll try to figure out what all were your mistakes and we'll also give you a you know a move ahead on how you can you, you know your course of action should look like for the next exam for your reset attempt so yeah i hope that this video was helpful once again congratulations to all those who have cleared your exams and those who did not uh, follow this strategy and in the next exam you will be hearing the congratulations so all the very best bye bye